I'm Mike Spreber, I'm the Managing Director of Noosa and Tara. And Noosa and Tara was IPO'd in early August on the Australian Stock Exchange. We raised $16.2 million with great cornerstone support from Australian Super, Xiaoxing Mining, which is a Chinese-based gold producer, and Lion Selection Group. Our key asset is the AWAC Mass Project in Sulawesi in Indonesia, and we own 100% of that project, and our whole focus is to develop that project over the next 18 months. The AWAC Mass Gold Project was first discovered in the late 1980s. It's a very mature project. It has over a thousand drill holes, which represents over 125 kilometres of diamond drilling. The project's located near the coast, so it has the advantage of good infrastructure, which allows uh, fast-track development. Previous studies have suggested that this project can be developed to produce a 10-year operation with about 100,000 ounces per year, and that's our focus over the next 18 months, is to move it into development. The Government of Indonesia recently has formally moved the project from study phase to construction phase, so that means we now have, with the environmental approval, all the approvals required to develop the project. And for us now, our immediate focus has been commencing uh, resource drilling to allow us to develop the resource and allow us to push forwards the project. So since the IPO, it's been a very, very busy quarter, our first quarter as a listed company. And our whole focus is about unlocking value of AWAC mass. So the first thing that happened in the quarter is we signed an MOU with PLN, that's the Indonesian National Power Company, and that allows us to develop grid power to the project, and that will result in low-cost power, but it also means we don't need to develop a coal power station, which is high capex, high opex. We've commenced resource drilling with a target of expanding the resource by 300 to 500,000 ounces, and parallel to that, we've completed some metallurgical testing, which now confirms high recoveries using a whole of ore carbon in leach technology. And that's good for all of us. That means we have a simple process sheet and with low cost power, keeps a low focus on costs going forwards. We've also now commenced the DFS, the Definitive Feasibility Study, and that's focused on op optimising the project. So it's been a very, very busy quarter, all focused on unlocking value. The aim of the resource drilling program is to increase the resource by 300 to 500,000 ounces, which is a big increase on top of the 1.74 million ounce resource that we announced in May this year. The program involves 8,000 metres of diamond drilling. Commencing through in the quarter, we've now completed about 40% of that drilling program. To date, the results have been exactly what we expected. The diamond drilling results confirm the mineralisation and the tenure, the grade of the gold, and that matches in with the resource that we released in May. So a very, very positive uh, aspect for the project. If you look at the section that you've got here on the screen, you can see the drill holes, the positive gold intersections, and importantly, you can see that those positive gold intersections match the pink shaded areas, which is the resource model. So we're very pleased with the results. The program will continue all the way through to Christmas and we hope to have a new resource announced early in quarter one, 2018. The DFS is now underway. Previous studies have shown that this is a low cost, long life uh, project. So the DFS is aiming to really reaffirm those parameters. So important to us is that 10 year life, 100,000 ounces of production a year, and also a capital cost between 150 and 170 million US, and an oil staining cost between $500 and $700 an ounce. So the DFS, which will deliver in mid next year, is aimed at tightening the parameters so we can prove again that this is a very great project, long life, low cost, great investment for our shareholders. Previous owners of the OAC Mass project started exploration outside of the three known deposits and they highlighted a number of target zones for future follow-up. And those target zones are on the basis of trenching or diamond drill holes, which had high-grade assays. So we've defined two zones for exploration. The first one is we call the East Corridor, which is between the Salu Burley deposit and the Tara deposit. And that has about 10 high-priority targets that we'd like to follow up. But our priority, as shown on this section, is the area between Salabulu and Awak Mass. And the reason that is a priority is because that's obviously close to our processing plant, so any new discoveries in there will be low cost and can be brought to production very quickly. And as you can see on the section here, the two deposits are very close with some high grade uh, trenching and diamond drill holes, so this remains a focus. 
So whilst we might be drilling the resources to increase the uh, ounces within the pit, the potential within the whole COW is very large and we see this as a great opportunity to grow value for our shareholders and for the project. With the resource drilling program underway, we expect to complete that this quarter. And as I said before, that should lead into a new resource in quarter one, 2018. The work of the DFS will continue and that should uh, report back late next year. As we complete the resource drilling program, uh, we will bring to the market and make announcements on some of those results during the quarter. So all in up, a very busy quarter continuing the work that we have uh, been undertaking in this quarter. In summary, we believe this is a great project. It's a long life, low cost project, very mature, a lot of data already that we're using to develop the project going forwards. It's in a very stable part of the world, a great attraction to uh, investors. We've got a good bunch of shareholders that have come on board that are enthusiastic about the project. And we believe at the moment, based on our share price and the 1.74 million ounces of resource, we're extremely undervalued. So we see this project has a lot of potential during the work that we're doing in the DFS, but also the drilling we're doing in the pits and future exploration to really grow the project. And our vision is, to do more than just direct mass, is to grow a gold business within Asia Pacific. So we think this is a great opportunity for people to come on board and be part of our journey. Thank you very much.